Hello, and welcome to this week's Vaticano Updates, the most important news from the Holy Father and the Vatican. The 16th annual exorcism course took place in Rome. Catholic priests and lay people from around 25 countries came to Italy for the event called the Exorcism Minister and the Liberation Prayer. 120 participants from countries such as Colombia and Nigeria learned about this important ministry of the Church. Pope Francis invited grandparents and the elderly to join a spiritual and nonviolent revolution. In his message for the Second World Day for grandparents and the elderly, the Pope urged seniors not to despair at their frailty, but to embrace a new mission of caring for others. On May 10th, Pope Francis sent a letter to the head of the Copts, Tuadros II, celebrating the ninth anniversary of Coptic Catholic friendship. Francis said he hopes for a continuation of the common pilgrimage. Cardinal Pietro Perelin showed concerns about Cardinal Joseph Zen's arrest in Hong Kong earlier this month, which might complicate the Holy See's dialogue with China. Zen was arrested on May 11th, but released on bail a few hours later. The controversial agreement between the Vatican and Beijing is up for renewal this fall. In his message for the World Day of Migrants and Refugees, the Pope said history showed that new arrivals played a fundamental role in social and economic growth and have enormous potential to help society if they are given a chance. Pope Francis decried the low birth rate in Western countries, describing it as an urgent social emergency and a form of new poverty. During the meeting, the general state of the birth rate, held in Rome, Francis emphasized the need to give real answers to families and young people. Thank you for watching this week's Vaticano Updates. I'm Hannah Brockhaus for EWTN Vaticano.